be. This tutorial is how to make 12 donuts in a box. So here we have the first things you're going to need. We're going to need four things from the modify section. You're going to get four code blocks and it's going to be create new object, create group, and then two move commands. After that, you're going to grab two torus shapes and drag them in to make the donut itself. Personally, I did tan for the bottom and pink for the top as the frosting. For the move command, you're going to want it to be at three so that the donut box doesn't crush your donuts and then your donuts don't exist because that would not be fun. And then the frosting is going to be one higher just so that it'll be above like frosting. So clearly you can see with the first donut, you can see what it looks like. And now, thanks to Tinkercad, they have something called Duplicate, and since we're making so many, it is helpful that we can just duplicate each donut. For the next one, the um, commands are going to be a little different. The coordinates are going to be 23 in each of the Y sections. And I'm going to change the color to brown as chocolate frosting, because why not? And then everything else should stay the same. The other thing you need to know about the first donut is that the tube should be at 3 instead of 2.5 or else your donut will not look like a donut. Next we have our second donut finished. You won't have to go and watch each one but I think it's kind of fun. Once again, thanks to Tinkercad, we can just keep on duplicating until we finish. This will happen sometimes, no need to freak out. It'll like start to align itself and then there will be only one missing. So let's put this back. And now we're going to change the coordinates to 46, which, if you didn't know, is the double of 23, so that it will be all the way next to the chocolate donut. And now I'm going to change the color to light purple, because, I don't know, who doesn't like a good light purple donut? Everything else should still continue being the same. We don't necessarily have to watch it, like I said. I'm going to duplicate this once more. Just, we're going to keep duplicating until we get 12 donuts, so it can be kind of tedious, but in the end, it will be worth it. Okay, let's watch it. Now we have these three donuts. Now we're making the next one next to the pink donut. We have lost one man in the duplicating process. Okay, wait. Here they are. Let's try and get these back where they're supposed to be. Um, okay, then. That was interesting. The reason that we have the create group and the create new object is so that when the move command works, it doesn't move every single thing around. And especially for the groups, it's not moving the frosting and the donuts up too far. It's just doing it as it is. The next commands are going to be negative 23 and negative 23. These commands and coordinates are going to be the same because we want the donuts and the frosting to be in the same place. And let's do this donut as white frosting. And of course, this varies. If you want to do yours with teal donuts and pink frosting, you can do it however you want. It'll all end up still looking the same, just with different colors. It's all your choice. If we watch it, we will now have four donuts. And this is where it starts to get complicated when we start going down the row. We're going to do our fourth, well, fifth. Yep, our fifth donut. Let's duplicate. What? Gonna try that again. Let's duplicate. And for this one, you are going to make sure that when where the coordinates are at, the Y is actually gonna be zero. Once it all just comes back together, it is just quite a hassle. It doesn't like to all stay together. It's not being very friendly. For this one, you're going to do zero as these coordinates. And zero for that one. And then for the X coordinate is where you're going to put the 23s. Now, let's do the color pink once more because this is this donut is going to be going right next to the other pink donut. Because I'm doing rose. Again, like I said, any colors you want work. Work on duplicating while it's putting it together. You can watch your masterpiece as slowly or as fast as you want. Now that we have our tour shape back, we're going to find the move command because it ran away. That's okay. Okay, we found it. All of these will say object zero at the top. It's really not a big deal. You can leave it as it is. If it bothers you, you can change each one to donut one, donut two. Next thing we're going to do is change the zeros in the Y coordinate to 23. This will make sure that your next donut 
the chocolate one will go under the chocolate donut. So that it will go next to, not under, because if it was under, it would be stacked, which is not the most fun way to eat donuts because they would all be smushed and sad. Okay, as it loads, you'll be able to tell that we are now, we're getting there. We have two donuts, two pink donuts in a row, and we almost have two chocolate donuts in a row. We're going to keep duplicating until we get to 12. The next object is going to be another white one, I suppose. You could do the purple ones, but considering that it's closer, we're just going to start by doing the white one again. Change this color. I'm doing mine in rows. You, what you're going to change is you're going to change the Y to negative 23 instead of just 23, which will make it go that diagonal direction towards where the other white donut is, and it will go next to it so that it will be there. Continuing with everything else, it's not much different. If we play it, there should now be about seven donuts. Just take a good look. We're almost halfway there. Don't don't fall asleep on me. It's looking great. Okay, we have seven donuts now. Looking great. We're going to keep going. Duplicate that. Let's just put it above. It will affect the order that the donuts go in, but it will not affect how the end result goes. It's not a super big deal. We're just going to make sure everything is back in order. This will happen. This happens a lot when you're duplicating. So it's it does get annoying, but it's nothing to freak out about. Next thing you're going to do for the coordinates is you're going to change Y to 46. This will make your purple donut very, very happy. It'll have a friend now. It'll have a friend that is just like the purple donut because it will have another purple donut friend. We're going to change this to light purple. And after you change those coordinates, it should show up. We're just going to keep duplicating. If you want, you can stop here to watch your beautiful eight donuts come and have fun together. But we're going to keep going. Next thing you're going to do is make a third pink donut in its row, and let's find out where the um, where the rest of this create new object went because it ran away. Okay. I think I see the duplicate up here. Does anybody else see it? Because I'm pretty sure that that is one Taurus on top of another. We are glitching out just, just a little bit. Let's check how much time I have. We have a minute. Let's keep going. We're going to pause this. We're going to pause this so that we can just keep coding. We're going to grab the Taurus because I'm pretty sure that one of those up there is hiding from me. Okay. We found it. Yeehaw. Now, let's go and try and look for where the different move command went, because that also ran away. Oh, we found it. It's down there. See, this really does get annoying, but you have to be patient, because the end result is so worth it. The next commands that we'll be doing are 46 and 0, just to have the third pink donut in its row. And if you wanted to take this a step further, you could add sprinkles, you could do a lot. Obviously, that would make it more complicated, but that's on you, on what you want to do. Everything else should stay the same. We're going to keep duplicating. The next one will be a white donut. We're going to get a little bit out of order. Have some fun here, considering it's going to take a second. Let's hope none of these jumble and, and run away, because it... Yay! The donuts are being nice to us today. Okay, we're going to make this white, and we're going to make it negative 20. This is the part two tutorial of making a box of donuts. We left off on the 10th donut. Now here I got a little carried away, and I kept going. You should be on the one that is right next to the chocolate donut by now, and it will be around the spot 
where the coordinates need to be at 23 and 46, so the x-axis of 46. So make sure you change your coordinates and keep duplicating until you can do this. And of course, always whatever colors you want. And do that for the same next one, but do 46 and 46 for the x and the y coordinates for each move command. And then we'll start working on the donut box. For the donut box, you just kind of have to trust the process, but we're going to add the shape of a square. And you're going to change each of the lengths and the widths. You're going to change the width to 69, the length to 92, and the height to 8. Edge, we don't need to change. And edge steps, we don't need to change. We won't be messing with stuff like that. For the modify command, you're going to grab two move commands and one create group. The create group will go at the end. And for these move commands, they will each go in the same one. For each color, you don't need to choose anything because it will both be transparent. For the first one, you can choose choose what you want. I did the color that's slightly darker than the white, just so that it didn't look like the white donuts that I had. For you, you can do what you want. You can do whatever color, as always. And then change your coordinates to 23x, 11.5y, and then 4z, and make sure it's different. Make sure it's 7z. They are not the same for each one, so that there is a layer and it's not just no box. And when you end up finishing if we speed up all the donuts making itself it should end up looking like this now we have 12 donuts in a box thank you for watching